Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode in Into the Depths. My let's play of this horror adventure map. We are in a prison and there are nasty things. I don't even know. Um, <laughs> man. Listen to those custom sound effects. Whoo! Definitely a little creepy, without a doubt. Are you scared? I'm not scared. I don't scare easily. I d oh, those are skeletons. I'm gonna hide behind this wall. Come here. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay. All right, we're good. Let's go ahead and kind of light this area up a little bit. Maybe we can find some cool stuff. There's another skeleton. Ow! Don't shoot. It's not nice. Okay, we got him. This prison... Oh, boy. Whew. Okay, I think we're good. Let's start checking some of these prison cells. Oh, didn't see him. Okay, we're going to start kind of taking a peek around, see if there's anything in any of these that's useful to us. Hmm, nothing there. We'll check that area farther back in a little while. Uh, nothing back there. What's this say? Scratches on the walls. They almost look like numbers. Okay. Prison cell number two. Nothing in there. This was three. Five and four. Hello. Hello, Mr. Zombie Friend. We got the mess hall key. That's what we came here for. Let's see. And this note says, This place, they're taking us, killing us. Well, that's a little unsettling. I'm going to get rid of those signs. I don't think those are going to be useful. And this one... Also empty. Okay. So I think we have explored the prison. There was a little area kind of down over here that we didn't take a look at yet. We should probably check that out before we leave. Hello, skeleton. He didn't come out of nowhere, unlike uh, the others. Some of these guys, they have a tendency to pop up when you're least expecting it. Let's see, and this is the mess hall. So this is where this key goes. There we go. Let's just kind of take a look and see what we can find. The mess hall. There's all sorts of nasty things in here. All sorts of nasty things indeed. Let's get rid of them as best we can. That stone sword that we purchased, definitely helping out. Ooh, arrows. Maybe that means we're going to get a bow soon. I just got hit by something. What? Whoa. What did I get hit by? Are there invisible zombies? There. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I have no idea what was hitting me there. Invisible zombies. Lovely. That's going to present an issue. Um, I suppose maybe I can use this water to get back up the hole. What hole? Hmm. I don't know. Invisible zombies, though. That's... Oh, that was a terrible plan. Oh, that was a very terrible plan. Ah, I'm dead. S slain by an invisible zombie. Lovely. Well, it looks like keep inventory is on. So that's good. Man. Whew. I have no idea how we're going to fight an invisible zombie. Hmm. A little bit of trivia about this map. Apparently, it was originally started back in... Beta 1.3? Beta, guys. That's a long time ago. 
back when hunger was not even in the game. And the map creator uh, actually began it as his own personal home. And then he eventually uh, decided to change it into a horror adventure map, which is really kind of cool. There is, of course, a link to the map in the video description. So if you want to try it out for yourself, you can certainly go ahead and do so. Let's explore the second floor a little bit before we head back to the prison. I think I want to avoid the, uh, the prison for a little while. Invisible zombies. Man, they got the better of me. That was the only time I died, though, so far. So far. I think we're still fairly early into the map, actually. I don't know exactly how long this thing is, is supposed to take to complete. Okay, there's a door we can't go through. We've got 25 gold again. So I suppose I could hit up that store and buy some additional food or something. I don't think we really need it, though. We're doing all right on food. As long as we don't take a ton of damage, we should be okay. Let's see. Ooh, skeletons. We're just gonna... No, we need to leave those open. Otherwise, I'm gonna think that I haven't been through there yet. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Um, the mess hall... I, I don't really remember how to get back to the mess hall. That looks a lot like the prison. Yeah, it was down here. Okay. So, oh. So what you can do, if I can get my hands on an iron bucket, that's what it's talking about. I can put that there and then I can ride the water like an elevator. Clever. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see. Where was that little space thing? I think it was back this way, maybe? Yeah, there's the staircase that leads down. All right, we're going to head down here. And we're going to try really hard not to die. Now, here's a zombie. I'm hoping that this is not the invisible one. This is also the mess hall, apparently. I wonder if the invisible zombies were a glitch of some sort. Hmm. Because now I'm not seeing any invisible enemies. Which is definitely uh, not something that I'm complaining about. Don't get me wrong. Invisible enemies are not fun. They're quite uh, quite challenging when you can't... It's, it's hard to kill something that you can't see. Let's see. We've got raw chicken. we got a torch. And we got the chef's diary. Let's see what the chef says. Along with the usual shipment of food and ingredients we received, the king came down to me personally and gave me what appeared to be an apple made of solid gold. Before I could question what this was all about, he told me that if I said anything to anyone, he'd kill me personally. I don't feel right about this. I'm afraid, to say the least. I want to live, but who knows what danger I may be putting everyone else in by keeping this a secret. I don't even know what to make of this apple, but my life being threatened is good enough to tell me that no good can come from it. So, the chef, getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, uh, you know, challenge from the, from the king, basically being told, mind your own business. I don't know what that lever's for, though. Hmm. We did get some cooked chicken. That'll probably help us out. Um, I'm just gonna eat a cookie for now, because I can. I'd like... I feel like there's supposed to be something else in the mess hall that I'm missing, like a bucket of water or uh, something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Is there anything else hiding around here? That chest I've already checked. I don't know, guys. There's got to be something. I must be missing something. What it is, I don't know, but I'm definitely missing something. Because I just, I came into the mess hall and I found a book. I did not find anything to advance the game. I mean, a little bit of story, but that's pretty much it. I, this lever, what does this lever do? Hmm. Hmm. Who knows? That lever was down when I came, so maybe 
Maybe we'll leave it, uh, we'll leave it up for now. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's see what else we can find around this area. Preferably without getting killed this time. Let's see, so... We came from over there. This is the mess hall. And this is the direction that we haven't explored? Is that right? No, 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 no. We came from here. This is the mess hall, and this is the direction that we haven't explored. I had that backwards. Let's see... Chef's quarters. Okay. How does one get into the chef's quarters? That would be nice to know. There's a toilet here. And underneath it is cobblestone, so I can't break that. I'm only supposed to break clay. I don't know. I'm definitely missing something here. I have no doubt in my mind about that. But the question is, what am I missing? Is there a... Is there a chest or a bucket or... Something? There's gotta be something somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. This is a door that leads to nothing. That opens and closes the jail door. Or the prison door, I should say. The dungeons, which is where we are right now. I feel like the answer has to be... Down farther. Unless I don't have anything in my inventory that would help me out, do I? No, I don't have any keys or anything like that. There's something back there, but I can't get to it. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the answer needs to be in the mess hall somewhere. I must be missing something. And I'm thinking that I'm probably missing something fairly obvious. But it's not the chest. That's... There's water up there. Because I can see the water dripping down. But this doesn't do anything. Hmm. I don't know, guys. For those of you who have played through the map, maybe you could tell me what's going on. Maybe I'm... Am I missing something? Or is there some sort of... bug where something got messed up? Or... I don't really know. I'm kind of lost right now. So I think... You know? It's a little bit shorter than I would normally go, but I think I am... I, I just broke the world. That I definitely needed. Oh! Oh, now the chef's quarters is open. Okay. So now I can actually get back in here. I figured out what the problem is. I am definitely going to have to, uh... Cheat back in that water that I accidentally got rid of. But that's okay. Let's see. So this says, so it's true. I don't know what this is for, but there are more of them. And I need to find... And I need to find them. I'll ask questions later. Okay, well, let's definitely take a nap in here. Update our save. Our checkpoint, if you will. So it must have... That lever must have opened the door to the chef's quarters. That must be what it was. Um, let me just quick switch into game mode C so I can put the water back where it belongs. And then we'll go back. Oh, no, actually, game mode A, because it's an adventure map, I think. No, no, it is survival. I think. I don't even know what, uh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be in. I'm going to assume survival, because I can break clay and stuff. So I'm going to assume survival. But now we can head back up and get back to the surface. So it must have been that lever. That lever must be what opened the door. That explains things. Uh, let's see. And this is where we came from. And we do have one of the four golden apples. Supposedly there are four golden apples. And those... are how you... get out of the world. Okay, so we got that. Um, 
let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's just make it easy and put the water there. And that way we can get up and down as needed. The bucket I might still need. But let's go explore the bar. Let's go explore the bar. There we go. Oh. Going quickly, of course. You've got another guard's diary, a torch, and another checkpoint. Nothing in this furnace. Let's read the diary. I'm getting out of here. Seaver told me the plan. Seaver is the head guard. Seaver told me the plan, but I'm not leaving without my brother. If anyone deserves to be free, it's him. He was wrongly accused. I know it, and everyone refuses to believe me. I know how risky this is. I may die in the process, and the situation has become dire. And I can't let him die here at the hands of that monster we call the king. Gods, save me. Okay. Ooh, another store. Ooh, chainmail. All sorts of goodies. Lots of goodies. Okay. I like goodies. Let's see. Stone sword, 12 gold. Chain chest plate, 17. So basically, if I want to get chain armor, it's going to cost me more than I've got. So that's something to think about. Hello, zombies. Let's get rid of some of these guys and get rid of them quickly. There we go. And I'm just going to put a torch. Actually, no, not right there. I'm going to put it right here instead. Because it looks better. You know, aesthetics. Those are important. But this looks like a great place to go ahead and wrap up the episode, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it. And it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys... Thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time. Everything here just wants to kill you. Why can we not be friends? Like, really? Man. Anyway, so now what we need to do, uh, pretty much to finish the house, at least as far as the... Uh